In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a track bar to adjust settings on a video stream rather than just a still image. This is the code that I developed when I was showing how to use a track bar to adjust the values of an image. But we're going to have to, this is what we're going to start with, but I'm going to need to modify it in order to show a video. Mostly because the way I had written this, the trigger was actually moving this, this slide bar. It would call perform operation, which would make the adjustment to the image and then show the image. But when we're dealing with an a video, a video is a se uh, fast sequence of images that we're going to need to display whether we're making an adjustment with the track bar or not. Okay, so first let's comment out the stuff that, or just get rid of the stuff that deals with the reading in the image. And the first thing I want to do is actually make a connection with my webcam. So my cap is equal to cv2.video capture. And video capture takes an argument of a number, typically zero, one, two. It's going to depend on your setup. So from my setup, I need to think about it. My zero camera is most likely this camera that's capturing my face. So my one camera is probably going to be the video camera that I have uh, the USB camera plugged in. If you're using a different type of camera, like an Intel RealSense, there's a different type of initialization process you need to go through. But for a webcam, you can normally use the video capture. All right, so I think it's going to be a one. You may have to try different numbers, zero, one, two, three, move up like that, uh, possibly a negative one. I've seen that once or twice, but uh, you're going to have to play around with this value. All right, so I have a connection to my camera. Let's comment this out and that's going to create a problem. I'm going to show the error and then fix it and get rid of this wait key. So now I need an infinite loop. So while true, what I want to do is constantly be pulling my webcam. So I want to grab the frame, ret comma frame. You can use this to determine if the webcam is actually connected and sending images, but the frame variable right here is the actual image. So this is going to be cap.read. So this contains the image data. Now I want to do cv2 dot im show window frame. If cv2 dot uh, wait key is equal to ord of q. So if I press the q button, I want to break and close. Now Right here, there is going to be a problem. I'll show you what that error is. Let's see. Yes, it is this null pointer error right here. So it says I have a null window. That means I'm trying to put my track bar on a window that doesn't exist. There's a couple of ways to get around this. First, I could just say, all right, let me get my frame and then just show it. So here, you know, this is the first time through, I'm just gonna grab my frame and show it and I get my frame uh, and you can see it's moving around. I don't want to do that. I want to just say, all right, cv2.named window, window, and now the same, same thing is gonna happen. I've broken something up here because it doesn't know what I am and I am one are, but I'll deal with that later. Oops. So I have a connection to my webcam, which is good. The next thing I want to do is I want to not have my track bars trigger perform operation. I want to perform this operation, form operation every single time I get a new frame. So I want to give this function a argument of frame. So right here, my frame comes in and let me get rid of this error. So I want to show the frame just like that. And it's still good right now. So now what I want to do is actually manipulate this frame in some way. What I ultimately want to do is to do some sort of edge detection. But right now I'm just going to show how to 
convert it. So I'm going to have my gray image. My gray image is going to be equal to CV2 dot convert color, CVT color. And it's going to take my frame. Then I'm going to say CV2. Now I believe it comes in as a BGR to gray. And instead of showing the frame, I want to show my gray image. So now, oops, has, uh, yep, it's color, BGR to gray. So now I have a grayscale image. This is, this is good. This is getting, uh, we're starting to manipulate the image and I just don't have anything going on with these track bars. Nothing's actually changing. So I want to actually take this grayscale image and put it through a canny detector. So I'm going to say canny is equal to CV2 and I'm going to have it be canny. Canny is going to take my gray image and then it is going to take two values, a, a threshold one value and a threshold two value. So actually right now, yeah, these are going to be what my sliders are and what these thresholds are. I'm not going to go into too much detail on the theory of canny, but it's just a lower threshold and an upper threshold. Canny uses some, the canny detector uses some logic to determine if pixels are between what happened between the th thresholds, what happens lower than threshold one, what happens above threshold two, what happens. Uh, and you can read about that on the open CV docu uh, documents. I'll put a link to it. But so right now we have these two operations. I have these two thresholds. So I need to change my contrast brightness and max brightness to be these threshold values. So this will be thresh one. Let's do it like this. Thresh one, max thresh one, thresh two, max thresh two. So let's make this higher. Make let's make this like 200 and threshold one is equal to 100. Let's make these both like 255. And let's just change these values. So this will be change thresh one. This will be change thresh two. Over here, this will be change thresh one. This will be change thresh two. Contrast is thresh one. Brightness is thresh two. I'm sure I forgot something, but uh, we don't need we don't need this right here, right? So I did forget these. So thresh one. And thresh two. All we're going to say is thresh one is going to be equal to the value in here. Thresh two is going to be equal to the value. We don't need these perform operations. Um, let's see. Oops. So I need to actually show this, this value right here. And this should give me some, and we have a, uh, line detection. So if I move this, if I move it all the way down and you can see it's starting to adjust the amount of line detections that are happening. If I move it all the way down, it makes a cool image, but it's very noisy. If I move it all the way up, what I'm going to get is I'm going to get very dominant types of lines that it sees. So typically maybe you want a two to one or three to one ratio, and you can just adjust it to, uh, until you get results that you like. You see the shirt, it says Chicago. Um, just sort of adjusting it till, uh, till it has sort of a nice result. So hopefully this video has helped you learn how you can use a track bar with OpenCV and a video to adjust the video for different track bar settings.